There are two types of plant reproduction, sexual and asexual. In asexual reproduction, the offspring that is produced is genetically identical to the parent. In sexual reproduction, the offspring are genetically different from the parents. Both types of reproduction produce offspring that allow for the continuation of a plant species, and both methods of reproduction have individualized structures. One method of asexual reproduction occurs through structures called runners. Runners extend from the mother plant and are similar to stems in structure. They act as a connection between the mother and daughter plant and allow the plant to spread out quickly. Another structure is side shoots. They branch off from the main stem of the plant and grow the plant outward. Bulbs are another type of asexual reproductive structure. They contain the genetic information of the parent plant as well as nutrients for the offspring plant. Once the weather is optimal for the plant to grow, the plant utilizes the nutrients stored in the bulb. The final asexual reproductive structure is the tuber. Tubers are enlarged stems that grow underground and extend from the parent plant. Offspring can be produced from these fleshy stems. There are two types of sexually reproducing plants, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms do not produce flowers. Rather, the adult plant grows immediately from the seed. The reproductive structures utilized by gymnosperms include two types of cones. Female cones contain ovules that develop exposed on the surface of the cone scales. Male cones produce pollen, which can be carried by the wind and may fertilize the female cone. Once fertilization occurs, a sustainable seed is produced and will grow into a new plant. Angiosperms are flowering plants. Flowers contain both male and female gametophytes. The male gametophytes are the pollen of the flower and the female gametophytes are the ovules. Flowers do not necessarily need wind in order for pollination to occur. Generally, animals perform this process. When pollination occurs, the ovule swells and its wall toughens to become a seed. The ovary then grows around this to become the fruit. Both gymnosperms and angiosperms go through the process of alternation of generations. In this process, a sporophyte produces spores through meiosis. These spores produce haploid male and female gametophytes through mitosis. The gametophytes then go on to produce eggs and sperm. These come together to form a diploid zygote, which then grows into a full-grown plant or sporophyte. Plant reproduction depends on the processes of photosynthesis and respiration. Energy in the form of sugar is produced through photosynthesis. That energy is metabolized during respiration in order to perform tasks such as growth and reproduction. So without successful photosynthesis and respiration processes, plant reproduction cannot occur.